The rainforests of Costa Rica are home to a plethora of easily recognizable species, including howler monkeys, macaws, basilisks, and many others. However, these species do not make up even half of the biodiversity that can be found in the rainforest. So, what accounts for the rest of the rainforest's biodiversity? The answer, of course, is invertebrates. In fact, it is estimated that over 50 million different species of invertebrates inhabit rainforests around the world, which is more than every other phylum combined. Costa Rica itself boasts millions of invertebrates, and it's nearly impossible to travel through the wild places of the country without encountering at least a few different invertebrate species. During our explorations of the Costa Rican rainforest, we encountered hundreds of inverts everywhere we went, and we got many of those species on film. So let's take a look at the species that keep the whole rainforest standing, the invertebrates of Costa Rica. So here we actually have our first invertebrate captures of the trip. We have these two little grasshoppers. Now, we're not sure exactly which species they are right now, but we'll be sure to put it on the screen for you guys uh, once we do know. So these are very common. We're actually right here in a little restaurant, and we've been seeing a ton of these guys just around the grounds. So we're going to get these guys back and see what else we can find. Awesome. Grasshoppers are found commonly throughout Costa Rica, and the two most common species we encountered were the green lubber grasshopper and the violet-winged grasshopper. Like most tropical grasshopper species, these guys are herbivorous, feeding mostly on leaves, plants, and fallen fruit. Grasshoppers are primary consumers, meaning that they feed directly on producers, the lowest trophic level, and are preyed upon by many species. In this way, grasshoppers are vital to the maintenance of the ecosystem. They are a major food source for a number of other animals. You guys see that? That is a massive cockroach, and I'm gonna grab him. Got him? Oh, he's strong. Ow! Wow! Those legs, I, oh man, he just bit me. This is the only cockroach I've ever known to be able to bite a person. All right, let's crouch down right here and take a look. Come here. Ah, man. Those legs are so sharp. Look at that guy. Oh, he is so cool. Now, I'm not exactly certain what species of cockroach this is, but he's definitely one that can fly. You can see his wing casing there. And if I flip him over, Take a look at those legs. They have almost thorns on them that make them extremely sharp. And there's his head there, tiny little head. These guys are mostly feeding on leaves and fruit out here at night. And he would have tons of predators. Big lizards or birds love to eat these guys. What an awesome little species. Though some people believe that all cockroaches are rather drab and ugly, the tropics are home to hundreds of unique cockroach species including this brilliantly colored cloud forest cockroach. A rather uncommon species to come across, they are found only in dense rainforest habitats, where they feed on flowers and fruits. Easily the most recognizable invertebrates in all of Costa Rica are the butterflies and moths. The country is home to over 1,200 species of butterflies and an astounding 8,000 species of moths, so it was no surprise that we encountered several different species on our expeditions. Butterflies feed on nectar and fruit in the rainforest, and they play a vital role in the ecosystem. As they feed, they carry pollen from one flower to another, a process known as pollination. Without this service, many rainforest plants would not be able to breed, which makes butterflies absolutely crucial to ecosystem health. Their varied and beautiful coloration serves many purposes. Some species use their patterns for camouflage, while others use them to attract mates. Moths, like this massive black witch moth, fill the same role in the ecosystem, but avoid competition by becoming active at different times than butterflies. Butterflies are primarily diurnal, meaning that they are active during the day, while moths are typically nocturnal, meaning that they are active at night. Both of these insects are irreplaceable in the rainforest ecosystem and are hard to miss while out exploring. 
It's one of the most well-known groups of inverts from the rainforests of Costa Rica are its bees and wasps, and though some may fear these species, they are in fact critical to ecosystem health. Wasps, like the red-headed paper wasp, are found all throughout Central and South America, and feed on a variety of larvae which keeps the populations of many pest species, such as tobacco hornworms, in check. They build nests in trees, under logs, and even in human settlements, and once abandoned, these nests act as shelter for a number of moth and spider species. Bees, like the western honeybee, are equally as important, as they serve as pollinators in the ecosystem. Western honeybees are also prey for a number of species, including birds, reptiles, and other invertebrates. Finally, and perhaps most infamously, we encountered a number of warrior wasps during our travels. This intimidating species boasts one of the most painful stings in the insect kingdom, but there is no reason to fear these creatures. They are in fact quite docile unless provoked, and will not go out of their way to attack humans or other species unless they feel that they are in danger. That said, it is always important to treat them, and all other species of bees and wasps, with respect, and observe them from a safe distance if you're lucky enough to encounter them. Want to learn more about the warrior wasp? Be sure to go check out our friend Emilio's video over on his channel, Animal Encounters. He made an amazing video talking all about these guys, including an incredible bare-handed capture. So if you want to check that out, we'll post a link to it in the description down below. When the topic of rainforest conservation comes up, it is usually the famous, charismatic species such as monkeys and parrots that immediately come to mind. However, the majority of the rainforest's biomass is made up of invertebrates, and they are facing a number of serious threats from habitat loss, pesticide use, and expansion of agriculture. Insects are crucial to a balanced ecosystem. They are the species that primarily break down plant matter and allow that energy to be passed on to higher trophic levels. Without them, the rainforest simply couldn't exist. Despite this value and the threats that they are facing, Insects are rarely given the respect and admiration that they deserve, something we hope to address with videos like this one. Our goal is to show you all a more personable, interesting side of these incredible animals, and dispel the belief that all insects are drab, dirty, and boring. If you enjoyed learning about some of the jewels of the rainforest, make sure to leave a like on the video and comment down below what your favorite insect was. And remember to subscribe to the Wildlife Brothers now, because we have so much content coming out soon, you will not want to miss it. See you later, guys. <coughs> so here we have... <laughs> hey, get back here. <laughs>